Спасибо. That's my one word of Russian, really. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for waiting. I apologize for the delay, but it was uh, uh, unavoidable. Uh, so let me tell you about Hume's strange inversion. First, I want to give you all a shared experience that I want to discuss with you. So just stare at the white cross. Don't let your eyes move. Just stare at the white cross. A few more seconds. Don't let your eyes move. And that should be long enough. Do you see it? Yes, I apologize for the uh, symbolism, but I didn't have time to prepare an alternative. So you would probably agree with me that you're having a flag after image. How about this sentence, that the lowest red, short red stripe is intersecting the black cross? Let's do it again so that you get a chance to think about that sentence. So there's the uh, original stimulus. And uh, do not move your eyes, just stare at the fixation point. And that should be long enough. Okay. Now everybody, is there anybody here who has not had that experience of the American flag? Uh, is there any evolutionary mechanism in our consciousness? And if there is, how can we have access to it? Our, on my model, our consciousness is uh, the software activity in the computer that is the brain. And that's perfectly real. It has uh, its own temporal and spatial properties. But they aren't the temporal and spatial properties that you experience subjectively. But your experience of those properties is itself internal to the operation of that software. How do I'm trying to think of a better way of putting that? So in the last part of your lecture, you were talking about robots as virtual machines. Uh, and I wanted to ask if you think that robots are necessary for consciousness, or uh, if they enable the consciousness uh, in any sense. OK, what I'm asking is, uh, for, you were talking about words as virtual machines for the consciousness. Yeah. And I'm asking if you think that words are necessary uh, for consciousness to exist. Uh, and uh, well, to maybe talk a little bit about the evolution, because well, the words are evolved, and the, the, the evolution of the brain, uh, either, either the words are going to be coevolved, or our brain evolved before we evolved language in, uh, in the form of existing day. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I want to ask. I'm glad you asked that question because my view is uh, unorthodox and controversial. I think that human consciousness is much different from the consciousness of any other species, including chimpanzees and dolphins and elephants and dogs and cats, the favorite comparison species. And it is, in the end, it's language that makes the difference. It's not that consciousness is just consciousness of words. It's not that consciousness is talking to yourself in natural language. That's not my view. My view is that a brain that has been shaped by the discipline of a language, 